that now, no, actually, my the purpose of my visit here is today is that now at the moment we are, you can't say crossroads also, uh, Sri Lanka cricket is in, in other case. Uh, but I mean, and everybody says that uh, it's because they couldn't uh, find uh, replacements for Sankarkare and uh, Mahela and Deshan, but uh, when almost, it's all, almost two and a half years since, uh, since they said bye to Test Cricket. And uh, at the same time, uh, it was during your time. That's why that is the purpose of my visit here. Uh, that it was the time that all these changes were happening. When we and took over, the change had just happened. We had lost three or four greatest players, and it was the time to build that team. And I think Kapila did a good job. And the proof of his it is that all the good players he picked during that period are the guys who are now doing well. You see, the key in building a good team is to have the confidence that this is the future and stay with it. I'm told in the last year there have been 44 guys who have been playing. What does that mean? The selectors don't know of what they're doing. They're just trying out players like, you know, playing cards. A mark of a good team is a team that plays for a while together builds up as a strong team. In 96, when we went to the World Cup, I think the same team had been with as a, as a unit for maybe one and a half to two years. And that was the success of that team. So once you build a team, when we started two years ago, by now you should have had a good, cohesive, united lot, playing together as a team and succeeding. But we have juggled around far too much, is my thinking. And you know, there are many things that go to make a success of a team. A, the morale needs to be high. The vibrations from the cricket board need to be right. And they need to be motivated. And as players, you need to feel confident that you are playing in a unit which is going to stay as a unit. But if you are in today, out tomorrow, and every other day you are seeing new names, something is regularly wrong. We are talking about bat three batsmen. Sangakkar, Mahela, Vijay. But, but 90% of a follower, a plum, is with bowlers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm and, glad you and, asked that question. Yeah. I'm glad you asked that question. Yeah. And uh, now, for instance, uh, I can't see after Modali and Vaz left. Yeah, we had, at least we had still had uh, Franga Nahira and uh, uh, Lasit Mali. But they are also from the older school. But uh, do, I mean, are we producing bowlers, like, say, for the present generation and the next generation? You see, from what I'm hearing, we still have that. Well, I'll give you a solid example. We brought in Mendes. And everybody believed that he is a guy who can be groomed. Where is he today? Any decent side in the subcontinent, I think, must have an experience. Most sides, even in places like England, South Africa, Australia, they are learning experience. What did we do? That guy was just removed and he's gone. He's disappeared. Why? After he started playing, showing signs of being successful, he was removed. For what reason? Why? Then the Ospina, what's his name? The guy who was called for bowling the wrong. I think he's a very yeah. useful Ospina. Yeah, the guy. Yeah. Where's he gone? Fantastic prospect. Okay, he, he, his Dursha was called. But he was an excellent bowler. And now I see the same thing happening with this guy Sandakan. He's coming and going, coming and I think he's a good prospect. But you have to persevere. You know, it's like in anything else. You take time to settle down in a job. You need to you need time to grow. You need time to mature. And especially in our system, we are our domestic cricket system is that's my opinion. Crap. You need even more time to 
mature another extra year because our domestic cricket is just not good enough so you know it's it's a double double whack you know you may bring them in and keep moving them up and down which is one problem and then you are moving guys up and down who are even not having the right exposure at domestic level so their foundations are shaky and then when they come into the uh, team if they are again moved around and you know messed up with the the result is utter confusion for the player for the management and everything do you think that if uh, a person like kapila was uh, he was still there he would have made it change uh, i definitely think so you see they had a plan they had a plan they were grooming guys with a plan you know it may be kapil it may be anybody else yeah. but you need to have what is called a six month plan and a one year plan when i was chairman selectors we sat and we thought what is our plan for the immediate six months leading up to a year leading up to the world cup if you don't have such plans so usually they must be had no plan they said Uh, this uh, administration must get some heavy you let to us i can't answer the question yeah, yeah. but i'm just saying when i was chairman selector that's what i me and my team we sat and said what are we looking for in the immediate aftermath of changes what do we want where do we want to be in one year and what's the structure we want as far as a team is concerned and with the world cup in mind what do we want to do but 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 you can see yeah changes coming not to, not not only in the team but administration then coaches i mean then the there is what i can see is uh, instead is setting it oh that's very obvious that is very obvious but then there is nothing we can do about it yeah but what do you think what do you what do you see with the sri lanka is the way of resurrecting i'm beginning to lose hope i tell you i i just don't know where we are i really don't know where we are and unless something drastic happens but now coming back to your what were the plans can can you just give me what were the plans that set were on on set on stage that uh, to take us for the you, you mean in the cricket inside in the yeah. team or the, the and and in fact yeah oh we had big plans for the infrastructure as you know we have half we had half completed them when they were completely uh, stalled we had the indoor facilities the training center and these are things that players were crying for crying for you so we had that side we had started a very good tournament which should have gone where we actually decided thinking about how places like india run you know we 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 decided to play with cities so that we can actually get some um, affiliation yeah we decided to not just play provincial cricket but to really bring in the city concept so that you supported your city you know For example if kalambu played gurnagle we wanted to have some uh, passion in this thing you know that's one of the biggest challenges i think uh, you have when you start provincial or you know intercity cricket or whatever so we thought long and hard i think i had a chat with you as well on this we felt if we say kalambo is playing gurnagle or kandy like in the rugby then there will be a lot more uh, people participation that is something you need but there is absolutely no doubt in my mind and in the minds of people who have played the game at the right level that our club cricket just isn't good enough you know the sad thing is people who run club cricket say oh but we won world cups we have done this year but they don't ask the silly question have you are you doing the same thing in every other area of your business the same as what you did in 1996 no you know change you have to keep changing with the times other countries have moved forward big time we are still in this but we and 
we have nothing at the moment. We have nothing. Even our capital is in ruin. But that's the sad situation. And we are not addressing any of these problems. Nobody worthwhile joining the setup because we are in chaos. There is nobody even wanting to get involved in Sri Lanka. Today you can't even find a coach from outside to come here. Because it's that bad.